All right, guys, it is 8.58 ish. We're gonna find out what's in there. Just dropped Maggie off at work, and uh, this place is on the way home. I was alone up until like 30 seconds ago. There was a Jeep here and a Honda and some sparrows down there chilling. No. All right, guys. Well, somehow I got in here first. Probably because they're not restocking. <laughs> But we'll take a look, right? Okay. Volvo. What is this? N case. Oh. Looks like they got the N case yesterday. Brown Corvettes. Cool story, bro. What was in there? Nobody knows. Looks like stuff got like put out, but elsewhere. So I just came in to Target. Um, I was out with um, sticking my mom to a neurologist and all that, you know, uh, such is life. But uh, I had to take her to this Target, my Target. Look at what I found. So they got the new case right someone came in here and just stole all of them so yeah oh no man sorry Cameron I know this is the set that you're looking for um, I will have one available at the auction so if you're into that let me know but yeah looks like someone couldn't steal both the Mustangs but they definitely stole all the Fast and Furious and they stole the HKS case how messed up is that that is some messed up shit, man. Like, I've seen stuff stolen before, but that is... Just bluntly took everything. Actually, Philly had, like, a bunch of issues yesterday at the Roosevelt Mall. Oop, hey. <laughs> uh, they bum-rushed a whole bunch of stores, stole a bunch of stuff. This is what it's down to, guys. I found more, so someone stole the whole case. Basically every single thing. Even got some Fast and Furious. Which one was this? Eh, that doesn't matter, but... Wow. Sorry, just making a little... So I can get a little thumbnail out of this, because this is insane. Okay guys, that target had nothing. So yeah, run into, there's three or four guys here. Guys, if you're watching this channel, some of you actually do. I know for a fact that you watch it. Um, so just want to um, say what's going on, man. Like, uh, you guys need to calm down. Uh, you're grown ass, man. Uh, there's nothing wrong with saying hello to each other. How you doing, you know? should be able to just say good morning back to someone if you're looking at hunting like hot wheels as a competition and you're acting all tough to other collectors i don't know man <laughs> i mean hot wheels is starting to uh really come out with uh, more um like they raise their prices and they're also um it looks like they're putting out more like they're definitely uh, increasing. Sorry, I'm keeping an eye out for the lights. It looks like they're increasing their uh, production. Like there's way more stuff out. Like I've been noticing uh, like car culture and stuff like that. Uh, Boulevard, whatever. Uh, the sets are coming out like twice a week or at least every week, almost in every Target I went to. Walmart's getting stuff and there's like all these guys are out there hunting. You know? I don't know, man. It's just like, I took a break. You know, I still went to stores. I still checked out Hot Wheels sections. But for a good, like, half a year at least, uh, I didn't go out with the intent to hunt. I didn't go out to, like, in particular to look for Hot Wheels. Uh, there's been times I went to Acme or Target or Walmart to get the stuff I needed to get there, not even look at Hot Wheels. Like, that's how much I stepped back from it all. But, uh... Now I came back because um, Fast and the Furious, I collect Fast and the Furious predominantly. 
Uh, kind of always have, uh, but uh, then I strayed <laughs> to collect other things here and there, like other Hot Wheels. So uh, now I am very clear on what I'm collecting and, uh, you know, I'm not wasting money on everything. <coughs> Anyway, uh, with that being said, guys, if you're new, uh, these days I collect for for Ukraine. I collect for charity. I collect, uh, well, I peg hunt. I collect for myself, but I peg hunt recently. Uh, now that I'm back uh, in the hunt game, um, I've been, uh, you know, everything that I find is going to go towards uh, the auction that uh, we'll be having right here on the Nostalgic Channel that we've been doing ever since the war in Ukraine started, when Russia invaded Ukraine uh, full scale. Now, I had to take a break with auctions and scale them down a little bit. Um, I really, it was really hard for me, guys, um, after my dad passed away and having a whole bunch of other issues that I had to deal uh, with family and in family and stuff like that. So now it's kind of, it's been like a, over a year and a half since my dad passed. So, you know, things are starting to kind of uh, get back into place or not as, as crazy, I guess. I don't know, man. But uh, yeah, that, and then I had uh, a little, uh, run into uh, very <laughs> yeah, they decided to uh, say a whole bunch of negative stuff about me and uh, a bunch of people believed them and you know there's not much I can do about any of that um, it's not that easy to convince people of truth uh, as it is to just give them a bunch of bullshit so uh, all of that stuff kind of you know uh, brought down the productivity all the charity stuff that I was doing uh, I was also going through a whole bunch of minimalism stuff, so I wasn't really collecting for myself anymore. Uh, I was getting rid of all of my collection for the auction. Uh, then I sold a bunch of stuff at, um, like, uh, what do you call it, flea market uh, and the auction. So, yeah, um, I got rid of pretty much all of my stuff. I still have my Fast and the Furious collection, my Mustang collection, and a couple of other things, like my big... Um, custom collection from people but anyway I'll hop on the train man uh, this is all for charity this is all for positive things this is all to save lives help people stuff like that man and at the same time all of you uh, diecast collectors are gonna get to have some awesome stuff uh, to have in your collection so we already have two custom customizers two artists that uh, donated customs uh, so I'm very excited about that and donated a couple of uh, fun things, um, you know, rare things for the auction. <coughs> so guys, please, um, I hope that you guys, look at that Evo, nice. So uh, please uh, let us know what's going on. Uh, please donate whatever you can. If you wanna just send some cars to send those toys to Ukraine, I'll do that. If you wanna send some stuff for the auction where it's like stuff that's worth a little money, uh, I would definitely do that. Um, because then I can auction it off for some money. Sorry that I'm talking weird. I'm driving stick shift with my left hand and uh, there was a big tree in the road that everyone was avoiding. So anyway, um, if you guys want to help Ukraine, um, get in touch with me on uh, my Instagram, uh, nostalgic underscore design and, uh, or Hot Wheels for Ukraine send me a message tell me that you want to send some stuff um, if you want to donate some toys you want to donate hot wheels uh for kids i will happily just mail that stuff over to ukraine like i've done before it's like a toy drive and um yeah whatever people send i just you know mail it out there <coughs> to the hospitals and stuff where there's kids or when when kids lose their parents man so much of that happened in ukraine because of the war um yeah, there's a lot of places like that. So, you want to just send some toys toy for girls, boys, whatever. Make sure it's new. Hit me up. Mail it to me. I'll mail it to Ukraine. If you want to donate something cool that we can auction off for the diecast community, do the same thing. Hit me up. Nostalgic underscore design or Hot Wheels for Ukraine. Underscores everywhere. And, uh, well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take you from there. I'll tell you exactly what to do. But uh, if you want to donate, uh, like, super treasure hunts, you want to donate, like, hard-to-find stuff, elites or you know other adult collectible uh, die cast you know or collector grade die cast please send that we'll send it if it doesn't sell at the auction 
uh, we're basically just going to uh, either sell it, uh, you know, on eBay at the flea market, or I'll sell it to one of my friends, whatever, or I'll freaking buy it and whatever. It doesn't matter, man. Anything you sent will eventually end up either in Ukraine as whatever you sent, or I'll sell it and send the money to Ukraine to help volunteers and uh, our guys on the front lines because they all need help, man. It's pretty much World War III out there, guys. I know the news isn't covering it as much. I know the interest, the hype has uh, died down a little bit, but the death toll is not lowering. Uh, all the atrocities, all the horrors, it's all happening, guys, every day. My people are living this way every day. So I'm not doing these auctions too often. So please, if you can, this time, it's gonna be in October. Please, please, please go to Nostalgic and buy some things, man. You get to keep awesome stuff. Uh, hopefully you get a good deal. If you don't, you should still feel good because you're helping people, man. You're not just buying stuff, you know what I mean? So yeah, anyway, in advance, thank you guys. Please look past all the bullshit and lies that people spread on the internet, especially about me. If you have any questions, please ask me. I will clear up anything you are curious about. Um, yeah, I'm here for spreading peace, love, unity, and charity. That's all we're doing here on the Nostalgic Channel. We started with just looking for nostalgia and missing the old ways. But you know what? With all the wars and hate and just toxicity and everything, we need to start evolving. We need to do more positive things. And you know what? I have a platform here. I want to make it more positive and I want to help people with it. Um, I have a job. I make money. Uh, I don't need YouTube for money. If YouTube brings me more money, that's fine. Um, it's not why I'm here. It's not why I'm on YouTube. YouTube, for, for me, is a way to reach out to you guys, the collectors, the toy collectors, the Hot Wheel collectors, the people that are just all about nostalgia and remembering the good old days. Uh, that's what this channel's for. And we can all reminisce and we can all support uh, people and uh, save lives together. Hopefully I didn't talk too much about nothing. Um, love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm at my uh, Acme. Wow. I haven't been here in a while. Just kind of haven't been stopping in, but... They sure have a ton of stuff. I don't have time to go through all this, so I'll give you guys a nice little, I guess, sort of a quick look through. Carreras. I mean, no, this is hard, probably difficult to like watch something like this. Because you just want to like see what's behind it, you know? What's next? Is there a super? Is there? What's that? Why is that yellow? So, yeah. Wow. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, uh, there was like this huge thing uh, last night where like a bunch of stores in my area got hit by a bunch of teenagers just stealing shit. iPhone store, uh, Roosevelt Mall, all that. It's crazy. Kind of wish I knew I'd go out and film it. That's, you know, something. But yeah, I can't believe someone just stole the whole case and none of this matters out of the package like how do these matter out of the package i don't get it like maybe hks but why would you even steal the van that's insane crazy